Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So this is another edition of Ask a Couponer for August. Super excited. This is a collab series we do once a month with my other couponing friends here on YouTube. So Jeff from Jeff Saves with Coupons, he is the originator of this collab. So definitely go and check him out. Show everybody love. Gina Schweppe, we've got Ash from Ash Loves Coupons, and we've got Llewellyn from Savvy Coupon Shopper. So those are all the couponers in this collab. We all coupon at different places and can answer different questions. So for each video each month, we'll be answering five questions for you guys. So if you wanna see what five questions that I picked to answer this month that might be helpful for you for couponing, stick around for this video. All right, y'all, so the first question I'm gonna answer, I put on the YouTube community tab, guys. Make sure that you have your bell clicked and you're subscribed because when the YouTube community tab feed pops up when you're looking at your subscription feed, I'll post things other than videos there too. So I asked any questions that y'all had for Ask a Couponer and that's where I got these five questions from. So definitely always put them there. Even if I don't get to it each month, put your questions and I'll eventually get to them. So the first question I picked was, Walgreens point system, tips and tricks. So Walgreens guys has points. They also have register rewards. I think they're gonna phase the register rewards out and go solely to points. That's what the store has told me anyway at my store. But with points, you get like spend 20, get 10,000 points, and those points equal to dollars. So if it says 5,000 points, that's five bucks equivalent to 10,000 points, $10 and you can use those points to redeem later for different items. So if I'm buying something that says spend 20, get 10,000 points, I can use those 10,000 points on another transaction or another purchase later on for pretty much anything. And you can just enter your phone number in the keypad, tell the cashier you want to use points, and then you put in, I think, your zip code, and then the points come off just like cash. It's pretty easy. And a lot of people get confused with, well, I don't know how to redeem points or how do I get them and when not to spend them. So if it says spend, if it says spend, and I'm going to say that like a million times, you do not use points to pay when you're trying to do a deal with the terms that say spend. All right. So anytime it says spend, don't use points. If it says buy two, get 10,000 points, you can use points in that instance and still get the points in return. So when it says spend in the breakdown, no points, buy, you can use points. And your points do expire. I had that question before, I think last month. They expire one year from when you accumulate them. All right, so if you're constantly redeeming them and using them or rolling them, you don't really have to worry about your points expiring. So if you're constantly active at Walgreens, you should be good. I know it gets confusing at Walgreens, but hopefully some of those tips were helpful for the point system. All right, question number two is why, or excuse me, when, to buy newspapers and where do I buy these newspapers? So you always buy your papers on Sunday. Every Sunday in the Sunday paper, you should be getting coupons, inserts. We have a smart source insert, we have a retail me not insert, and then once a month we will get a Procter & Gamble or P&G insert, and that's a really good one that you wanna get. Sometimes we'll get multiple of the retail me nots or the smart sources per, per Sunday in there. Sometimes we won't get any because of holidays. So you definitely wanna check and make sure before you go and purchase and spend all this money on newspapers if you need to do that um, and not wasting any money to get your inserts. And also guys, you can see where we're getting, what inserts we're getting. If you type in coupon Sunday preview inserts, and then they have all these different websites that come up, it will let you know what coupons are gonna be available in your Sunday paper before you actually go and purchase them, which is pretty cool. So for example, tomorrow, on Sunday, we are gonna be getting one smart source and one retail me not insert in the Sunday paper. Where do I buy my papers at? I buy my papers at Family Dollar because they only cost $1, which is amazing. That same paper, if I try to buy it at a local gas station, it's gonna cost me $2.50. So definitely scout out where your papers are the cheapest so you are utilizing and getting the most savings possible. Some 
Dollar Trees, and no, I'm not going to Dollar Tree, I'll promise. I'm actually going to Rouse's, but there's my big Dollar Tree right there. Some Dollar Trees do sell papers, Sunday papers, for a dollar with the coupons in them. Mine does not. A lot of locations don't, so just be aware of that. So scout out, find where the cheapest papers are, buy them on Sunday. My tip is to buy in increments of two or four because a lot of deals you'll need an even number amount of coupons and if you got two or four most of the time you can do the deal all right question number three how do you make time for couponing how do you make time for couponing with kids cleaning rebates and family time so i get asked this all the time girl where do you find the time i don't even know okay first off Get yourself a planner, write down everything that you need to do in your planner per day. That's what I do. If I don't write it down, it doesn't happen. It doesn't get done because my brain can't process and you know hold all this information that's going on in my crazy life. So I have to write it down. You definitely have to take a time aside. As y'all know, I did not coupon last weekend on Sunday. It was my first week back to work and it was craziness and I just ran out of time. I didn't have time to do any breakdowns and I just took the day didn't take off. Y'all were all talking about me relaxing. I did not take off, but I took the time to wash clothes, go to the grocery, clean up, and prep for the week. So sometimes you just got to take a break, and that's okay. But I try to squeeze in as much as I can all the time. But definitely writing things down and being organized at the very beginning of the week definitely helps me. Organizing your coupons. I showed that in the last Ask a Couponer. I will link it up above how I organize my coupons. Some of y'all missed that and y'all asked me again. I will link it up above because I showed y'all and explained how I organize my coupons. But you have to make time for your family, number one, and your friends. And sometimes you can just put things aside. But uh, I'm telling y'all, just time management and writing things down is the only way this girl functions. Number four, what apps should I be using or should I download to my phone? Okay, I got asked that. So number one, you should definitely have Ibotta on your phone. If you don't have Ibotta, I will link it down below and you can join my team. I think you get like $5 or $10 or something automatically if you're a new Ibotta user with the app. But definitely Ibotta is so user friendly and you can get so much money from Ibotta. There's bonuses on there where you can unlock bonuses and get extra cash and you can redeem it to gift cards or you can send it straight to your like um, PayPal or what is that Venmo or whatever it's called now and it goes st straight to your bank, which is amazing. So I bought it is the bomb. And then also Saving Star is one that I really like. Um, I bought it and Saving Star are my top two. Saving Star, every Thursday and Sunday, they will have new offers that you can send to your app and you have to actually send them to your app. So if you miss them and they go away, they're gone. But if you get them and send them to your actual offers, they're stored there until they expire, which is great. Thursday morning, they have new ones for Saving Star and Sunday as well. They run out fast. So even by that night, if you haven't checked it and clipped it or sent it to your account, they might be gone. So definitely check on Thursdays and Sundays for Saving Star rebates to, and offers to add to your app. Checkout 51 is another one that's good. Hasn't been as good lately, but it's a decent one. But my top two would have to be Ibotta and Saving Star. There's also Fetch Rewards, which you can scan receipts. I'm just not good about remembering to do it. I know Gina and Ash and Llewellyn and even Jeff, I think they all use Fetch and you can redeem gift cards. But if you're like me and I don't write it down, I'm scatterbrained, I'm forgetting about that. But Ibotta, I scan my stuff for Ibotta right after I buy it as I'm walking to the car or in the car before I even get home so I don't forget. And same thing with Saving Star. If you don't have it already automatically linked like CVS, if it's a store you have to actually take a picture of and send it to Saving Star, I do that right now. All right, number five, Dollar General. Can you use paper coupons, the internet printable coupons, along with digital coupons? So I've been asked a lot about Dollar General's couponing system, and some of y'all have your own rules apparently at Dollar General. My Dollar General allows me to use paper coupons along with digital coupons. Let me explain what that means. So if I'm buying Tide Pods, for $4.94 and I have a $3 digital for those Tide Pods. I cannot use a Tide Pod digital $3 and a insert $3 paper coupon with that to get $6 off a $4.94 product and get overage. No, you can't. That's two manufacturer coupons. You can't stack. 
even though one is digital and one is paper. All right, so you cannot do that. But when I say mixing paper and digital and my breakdowns are in, in store when y'all are watching me, I'm saying, okay guys, I'm buying three Tide Pods. I'm gonna use one digital for the first one, and then the other two Tide Pods, I'm gonna use two paper three off ones. All right, so for a total of $9 in coupons, one being a digital, two being an insert coupon. My store allows me to do that. Some of y'all stores, if you're plugging in your keypad number, they won't let you hand over paper coupons after the fact. I don't know why. Some stores have their own policies. If you look at Dollar General's overall couponing policy, it doesn't say anything in there that you cannot use digital and paper coupons with some other um, products. It doesn't say that, but they all make up their own rules apparently. But my store has no issues with that. So the order that you do is if you're doing a five off 25 Saturday only scenario that I always bring to y'all for my in-store videos, you will hand over a five off 25 paper coupon that gets printed on the bottom of your receipt first. You will enter your number in the keypad for any digitals you might have sent to your account. And then if you have any actual physical coupons from inserts or printable coupons that you've printed from coupons.com, you can hand them over at that time and they will get deducted. Then they'll press total and then that will be the amount that you actually pay out of pocket. So that's how my store works. But no, to answer your question, I think someone's question was, could you stack like for one Tide Pod, like three different coupons on one Tide Pod? No, because they're all the same manufacturer coupon. It's just one's digital and one is in paper form. So you can't put them together. But if you're buying multiple Tide Pods, yes, you can do that. All right, y'all, so that's all the questions I have for Ask a Couponer this month. Make sure to go check out all the other couponers in this collab and see what questions they answered. It might be a question that you had that I did not answer, so that will definitely be beneficial to y'all. Make sure you leave any um, questions that you have for next month in the comments below. I will take these and then the community tab into consideration for next month's questions, and I'll be happy to answer the five. So I'm trying to pick different ones every month to try to get a, you know, variation of questions for everybody so we can get these answered. Thank y'all so much for watching. Y'all have an awesome Saturday. Just to let y'all know, I will be couponing tomorrow back at it, so I'm excited about that. So stay tuned tomorrow for CVS and for Walgreens. I'll be back in store. Love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow for some couponing. Bye, guys.